This is the grade six math practice test for T in ready. Question currently number seven. Select the two expressions that are equivalent to four plus W plus 12 W. These are those questions that you kind of have to check all the answers to make sure. By the way, they wasted time in ink bolding this. So you're looking for two answers. Make sure you don't pick one. That's the most annoying thing when you pick one answer instead of two and you miss the whole thing even though you understand how the concept works the first thing i'm going to do is put this in simplest form and that way i can just one of the answers is almost always that i can this is an expression so there's no equal sign there's no opposite operations or any of that nonsense i just have to perform the operations that are shown on like terms both of these terms have W in them, so they're the same. It's like one orange versus 12, uh, plus 12 oranges, so you add them together. Um, this 4 does not have a variable on it, so it's different, so we'll pretend it's apples. So 4 apples, you can try to count apples and oranges, but they're always going to be separate. I have 12 apples and 16 oranges or whatever. I guess you could say they're all fruit, but they've already defined them as their individual fruit uh, type, so you can't combine them. They're not like terms. I tend to put like terms um, when I work them out. I'll mark them in some way. Even, especially when I get into algebra, I'll start putting my constant terms in triangles and then underlining single variables. It just makes things easier. Get into a habit now. It'll make your life easier as you move up. Anyway, there's nothing I can do with the four. It's stuck by itself. See, it's in a tent. So there's nothing. It's trapped there. If you don't see a number in front of the W, you can see there's one W there. So you might want to put the one. That way you don't make the careless mistake of forgetting about it and putting plus 12 right here and moving on with your life. That would be awful. 1 plus 12 is 13, plus 13, W. So this one works just fine. So now we have to go through and start looking at the answers and see if they can simplify down to the same form or if they match the same form or whatever. 13W squared plus 4. The thing about W squared is they're trying to get you to say, well, there's two W's here, so I'll just put squared on it, right? That's not how that works. The W value... The only way you can change the exponents is by multiplying the terms because these are, um, in some ways, in order of operations. I always refer to the exponents as like the little brother or little sister. They're the younger siblings. So if you're multiplying the terms, then you add the exponents. So you'd have to have this, and then you'd say 1 plus 1 equals 2. That's the only way, but you're not multiplying these terms, you're just adding them, hence the plus. So anything with w squared is totally out. You don't, it doesn't work that way. If you are not multiplying, you cannot change the exponent or dividing. You can't change the exponent and adding and subtracting. It just doesn't work. It's the bottom layer of the order of operations pyramid. Similarly, this 16 plus 2w nonsense is a mess. I don't even know... I guess, I don't even know. It's not, it's not the thing, so that's out. I was trying to work out some way that they did it, and I'm sure if I thought about it long enough, I could probably come up with what weird thing they had going on, but I'm too lazy. And T also has this nonsense W squared in it, so that's out. You will notice, however, that there were two answer choices with W squared in it, which makes you think, like, well, maybe I could square the W, or I could add those exponents together. They're trying to get you to pick the wrong answers. Don't fall for it. You can immediately eliminate those two answers before you do anything else because the relationship between the terms is addition or even subtraction would be the same. You can't change exponent values by adding. It's not possible, at least on a variable term. And we'll just work this one out. Conveniently, I have the order of operations pyramid up. So the first step would be to look for parentheses, and we have it. These are not like terms, so they cannot be combined because this is a W. And you, maybe you mark these up. I don't know how you live your life. Now, this 2 is touching this parentheses. That means multiply because there's no other operator in between them. If you see a number like 13W means 13 times W. There's no operator in between. So when you see this 2 next to this parentheses, it means that you need to multiply by the entire term, which means distribute. 
2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 6 is plus 12 W. The W doesn't change, it stays. Now, I did do something that I usually warn against. Let's see if I can get my little eraser there. The thing that I did that I regret now is I drew the lines before doing each individual part. If you draw the line, then put the 4, and then you draw the line, and then put the 12, it will remind you that they're both done. If you do the lines before you even get to the like the computations, it could cause a problem. So just be careful. And then I never use plus W, so I'm going to bring down plus W. Well, looky, looky. It's basically just this, isn't it? This is 1W. I'm going to combine these terms. 13W plus 4. So this is also my correct answer. The takeaways from this one, um, number one, if you have a the original equa expression and it's not simplified, go ahead and simplify it using whatever operations it asks you to use. Number two, you can't change the exponent on a variable by adding or subtracting the terms together. That doesn't mean any of the criteria to do that. If you are multiplying or dividing those terms, or if you are raising the variable term with the exponent to another exponent, you could change that number. Otherwise, you can't. So anytime you see addition questions and they have W squared answers, those are not going to be correct. Uh, unless you have, again, multiplying. Like if this was 2W, then you would do 2 times 6 and get 12, and then it would be W times W, which is W squared. But that's not what happened here because it's not W. And then finally, uh, once you get down to like one answer, just check it really fast to make sure it matches up and you're not just picking it because it's the last one left because you've made some error on the way. Um, you may pick one that's not the correct answer.